a class situation that really made me decide that decision skills were so important to teach. Where we, we had a situation um, in the news where we had a local news commentator make some questionable comments on his weekly show. And it was, it was involving hockey, which was a big deal with a lot of students in my class who are hockey players. And they arrived the morning after this controversy yelling at each other. He should be fired. He shouldn't be fired. He should be fired. And it was so heated. Uh, we're Canadians, so hockey's a big deal here. And I brought them into the classroom. I dropped the math lesson we were going to do because we've been working on decision skills. And I said, okay, first of all, who's even seen the clip with what this commentator said? And only three kids had even seen what had happened. They were just imitating what they had heard their parents say, their friends say, and people quickly became polarized and jumped on whatever bandwagon they felt they wanted to be on. So we stopped, we watched the clip three or four times, collected information, and then we worked through the whole decision skills process. So what, what, well, what matters to you about this, about whether or not he should be fired? Um, what options do we have? Are those our only two options, our only two alternatives, or is there something in between? because it was all in the headlines in the news, is this man going to be fired? Um, and by the end of this 40 minute conversation, discussion in class, they had gone from two completely polarized groups to maybe only two or three kids really being adamant that he should or should not be fired. And everyone else was somewhere in the middle with um, their thinking on the issue. And I was so impressed because it was so heightened when they came in and it went from that over a 40 minute time block to a really calm and reasonable conversation with everyone talking about what mattered to them about the issue. So some people really felt passionate about freedom of speech. Others felt more passionate about, you know, you shouldn't be allowed to make racist comments if you're given a, a, a job commentating a show on television. And then at the end, a boy put up his hand. He goes, you know, I, I really do think that the racist comments were not okay, but I just love that show and I look forward to it every Sunday. And so on one level, yes, I don't think, I think he needs to have a consequence, but on the other, I just want my show to carry on. And that's so important to me as a person. Everybody's like, oh yeah, no, we get it. That's okay. <laughs> so the, the level of conversation that went from so heightened and so polarized to just a community having a reasonable discussion and everybody being able to see each other's points of view and really thinking there needed to be a solution that was somewhere in the middle. Like, let's get out of these extremes. And I thought, wow, if we could just do this as adults in society, we'd have such a much more peaceful society and people would be able to make so many more reasonable choices than um, what we often do.